What's the most underrated invention? Clocks. So much better than having to look at the sun. In Minecraft looking at the sun is more reliable. Good to know. Unless you're in the nether or end, then it does nothing. Not necessarily a single invention, but sewers. Cities would not be possible without a good sewer system. What's even more impressive is that we had sewers in ancient Rome. They have saved millions of leaves of the years by having cleaner sanitation. I just replaced a toilet yesterday, and I never again want to look at or smell the hole of death in every bathroom floor, and I was thinking the same thing. Like, just poop in a room and it will magically get sent out of your house. It's pretty awesome. A lot of things sound pretty amazing when put into simple terms, like cars. Sit in them do some arm and leg movements and suddenly you're going fast. Indoor plumbing. Everyone just shits all over it. Great grandpa argued with his daughters when they wanted to get indoor plumbing put into his MN farmhouse as he was in his 80s and winters were still cold up there and outhouse pooping isn't all that anyway. Things got a bit heated during the back and forth and he told them god damn it, you don't shit in the house. Eventually he let his girls get the plumbing put in, but what an insight into a previous way of thinking. Great grandparents were dead set against it as well. Eventually got them to have a small building built about 15 feet away behind the house with plumbing and electricity. Had a small heater, AC unit and the window as well. They thought it was fantastic, just not part of the house. Elevator. No elevators would completely change the landscape of cities. Welcome back Mr. Bezos. Your first floor suite is just this way. And that was literally a thing. The top floors of older buildings were where the staff or pool tenants lived. Money meant you didn't have to walk up 5 flights of stairs whenever you wanted to go to bed. Copy, paste, and cut functions. Sure we use them all the time and we don't think about it, but there was a time when that wasn't an option. Just think about that. It's freaking bonkers. I'll add Ctrl Z to that. Has saved me so much trouble. Refrigeration. It changed the world. Food can be preserved and shipped vast distances. Supermarkets are a thing now. Frozen fruit and vegetables, meat, dairy are all readily available. We have fridges in our homes. We can make ice on a whim. Our beer is cold and life is good. Thank Clarence Birdseye, who invented frozen food. Unfortunately, he was too far ahead of his time. Most people didn't have refrigerators, so there was no market for his product aside from the locals. I'd say soaps and toilets considering how different life would be without them. I don't know about the soaps one. I feel like with how many different scents there are and how people will go and look for specific ones, they get a decent level of appreciation. Lint rollers. Ever accidentally leave a receipt in your pocket when tossing clothes into the washing machine? Your black shirts remember. The public library. More information and entertainment than you could ever get through in a lifetime. Paid for by the people. For the people. And open to everyone? A place where you can freely go and use the computers if you don't otherwise have access? Get out of the rain? Research local history or your family tree? Where there are people who will help you find that bit of information you need, but don't know where to start looking. Where you're not expected to buy anything. Where there are story time sessions for young kids right alongside adult learning classes. Oh, and pretty much every town is one. Where the only thing you have to do is bring back the things you've borrowed in a timely manner so other people can enjoy it too. And where people actually do it. The public library is a phenomenally large undertaking. And I'm always in awe that those crazy bastards not only managed to pull it off, but also to make it seem so normal and everyday that people actually take the things for granted. Yeah, I always found it bizarre that people protested the plans for rebuilding our library in my hometown. Free books, free DVDs, free games, free internet, free event rental space if you need to host a hundred person event, the top floor, heck. Free childcare even though they didn't advertise as such. The school bus went there at 2.30pm after school. And the parents could come retrieve the kids at their leisure. And if your kid wasn't well behaved enough to occupy themselves, there were usually programs for that. I ran a bunch of the programs and events. The bigger library in the city I moved to even offers 3D printing. 
and you can borrow sewing machines. There's also a little film section with a green screen you can use. Really pretty amazing how much they have to offer. A fan. Air conditioners. Glasses. Contacts. It's nice being able to read and not get hit by cars. Spectacles were invented several hundred years before the monocle. The monocle was a rich person fashion trend. I hate when people make spectacles out of monocles. Nail cutters. What? You don't have teeth. My toes don't reach to my mouth. They reach others mouths though. Teamwork makes the dream work. Finding people with same fetishes isn't that easy. You don't have to like it as much as I do. Toilet paper. I'm still waiting for the three seashells. Door knobs. Super handy, but never really talked about. Door handles are better. The spoon. I am using one right now. It's just a bowl on a stick. The wheel. I actually hate that it's referred to as the wheel. The wheel can be seen all over in nature. It should be the axle. The wheel can be seen all over in nature. Damn turtles with wheels. Sharks with wheels. Snakes with wheels. Snakes use tracks, like tanks. Washing machines. Dryers. I don't take those for granted. Imagine filling a wash tub and scrubbing clothes with a bar of soap, then hanging all that to dry, no matter the season. Yuck. The roller thingy you use to get pet hairs. Dust off your clothes. I didn't realize how important they were before I got a cat. Vaccines. Language. The written word is literally the most versatile and evocative form of expression that humans have devised. Not everyone appreciates just how complex and nuanced it is, of course, but in the same way that the tempo of a song can change its tone, or a pinch of salt can alter the flavor of a meal, or the lighting and composition of a photograph can change how its subject is viewed, something as small as a single comma can completely alter both the meaning and emotion offered by a sentence and by extension, the content of an entire written piece. After all, the way in which something is written often conveys more than the information in the words themselves. The pencil. It absolutely revolutionized how so much recording, design, and general progress was done, to the point that there were a number of countries that had strategic wad reserves, wad being the precursor to modern pencil lead. It may be looked down upon now, but has done so much good. Shoes. Do we all really appreciate to the full extent that we should how great shoes are? I mean, think about how painful some of the places we go would be if we didn't have shoes. I'm not denying the possibility that we would have evolved around a lack of shoes, but they're just such a nice thing to have. Oh man. W-E-L-I-E-S. A cast iron skillet. It's such a versatile item and if maintained properly can last multiple lifetimes. All you need is an open flame and you can cook anywhere. Glass. Without it, optics of any kind are gone. Pool eyesight. Tough. Telescope to see the planets and moon. Gone. And worst of all no microbiology, because no microscopes either. Glass is a fabulous thing so common we don't even think about it. Its absence in China allowed Europe to get a jump in a whole range of technical areas. Glass. The stuff of magic. Insulin. The things diabetics had to do in order to stay alive before the advent of insulin is damn near inhumane, and they only lived till like 12 years old at absolute most. The modern wall. You can integrate plumbing, electricity, mount cool shit on it, etc. The printing press. When it was created, it allowed the transmission of knowledge at an unseen rate. Before that, Everything had to be written by hand and books were considered rare and expensive commodities only available to select few individuals. The whiteboard. It's remarkable. Your street address. A lot of countries don't use them, but our postal system can get a letter or package to a house quickly without having to do a lot of extra work. Thread, string, rope. It literally holds everything together. The aglet. It is the piece of plastic on the top of your shoelaces. A freaking velcro. Was watching Space Odyssey and realized that used velcro on floor to reduce the effect of low gravity. Velcro has been used almost everywhere. Condoms. 
1872 the Welsh invented the condom, using a sheep's lower intestine. In 1873, the British refined the idea by taking the intestine out of the sheep. Until recently, toilet paper. The skip intro feature on Netflix. AC current. Really? No one has said paper. The ability to record thoughts and facts? The printing press revolutionized the western world and it wouldn't have been possible if paper didn't exist. The entire scientific revolution was brought about and shared through a paper. The fork. Dishwashers. Language. It's never mentioned in these threads, and yet without language none of these other inventions would be possible, because knowledge accumulation would be restricted to a single lifetime, a single family group. Language makes it possible to learn from situations you've never been in, and to build on things people have tried before. And the benefits pile up. The later in a language using tradition you appear, the more accumulated knowledge you have to pull from, to add your own insights to, and the farther knowledge can spread to all other language users trying to contribute their own insights in parallel. Language is what has allowed us to go from electricity to transistor to iPhone in 200 years. Deodorant. Honestly bikes are one of the most underrated thing. As a kid that was your only way to get out of the house by yourself and you could go anywhere you wanted as long as you could get home. The bidet. Feminine hygiene products. Allowed for the progress of females in corporate America and around the world.